Hi guys, good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sai Kiran. Guys, today is the last session in the AWS. I sincerely would like to thank whomsoever has been subscribed and whomsoever has been sent the positive feedback to me and all the positive comments. It's, it's truly a motivation for me because of you guys, I'm moving ahead and starting Docker and Kubernetes next week. Like my plan is to start uh, DevSecOps actually and then Kubernetes, but many people were asking to start the Kubernetes. So instead of starting directly Kubernetes, I added Docker in front of it. So it's a Docker plus Kubernetes sessions. We are going to start from the next week. Right. Thanks again for today. What we're going to discuss is today we are going to discuss how to introduce yourself. Right. Even if you are coming from the different stream, non IT background or IT background, or trying to jump from a QA to DevOps don't mention that uh, but don't mention to the panel members that you've been part of any support team or you're contributing this or you're contributing that no please not mention that instead how you have to introduce yourself is hi thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to introduce myself myself sai kiran benipatruni you can call me as sai coming to my work experience i do have 4.8 years of experience my day starts at 10 o'clock in the morning where we are going to discuss about roadblocks and then backlogs Apart from that, I am also responsible for writing Jenkins files, Docker's, Docker files, and then Terraform scripts based on my QN dev requirement. We do track each and everything with the help of Zira. Apart from that, we do also have multiple servers located in North Virginia and Ohio. So it's our responsibility to monitor via Prometheus whether the clusters were up and running good or not. If any issue occurs, then again, it's our responsibility to resolve it. If it's not in our hands, then we are going to sit with the on-site team and we are going to resolve it. Post that, I am also responsible to give KT sessions to the new joiners and I'm also responsible to take the level one technical interviews. You should introduce yourself in this way. But when it comes to the freshers, uh, mention about the project, what you have learned post your graduation and also mention the strengths and weakness of yours and also uh, tell them that given an opportunity will be really appreciated and you do have that zeal and you do have that grasping knowledge to grasp all the stuff during the time of training right this is how you have to introduce yourself and the next thing what we're going to discuss for today is we are going to see about the resume stuff and then we are going to see what you have to mention in the profile summary and how to address your projects and clients in the resume and then we'll wind up this session right so let me share my screen once so I'm not, again, I'm not promoting any website, so I'm not promoting anything, but resume.io, this is the one since I'm using for the past one and a half year, they do have some cool templates here. If you scroll down, see the templates here. Uh, this is the template of mine. Here we're going to get a lot of templates. And also the best thing here is, see, whenever you're trying to apply any job, don't apply uh, with the same resume. Try to change the job description and try to modify your resume and then keep applying, right? You know how this applying and how this shortlisting will work. So in such case, it's always a best practice to change the resume whenever you are applying to the new job. Correct. They do also provide seven days of uh, subscription, I think. And they also do provide some two months or three months of subscription. I I'm not sure, but I do have one year subscription. It's over already. And if you do have any budget constraints, I can understand. So you can go to something called Busy Dream Store. Uh, is it Busy Dream Store? Yeah, Busy Dream Store. I bought Canva from here itself only. It's, it's somewhere around uh, 299 or 199, I think. Again, I'm not promoting anything, guys. Please don't take me in a different way. This is the place where you're going to get Canva for free. I mean, not free, Canva for the very less price. Uh, see here it is if you go to the search tab and if you enter professional resumes you can also find a lot of resumes here in the canva actually i decided to uh, keep my credentials in the youtube description but the problem is imagine if 100 people are logging in with my credentials i'm going to receive 100 otps and if someone is pinging me on linkedin asking me the otp so it will be a totally mismatch and mess up so that's the reason why i I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm deciding not to mention my credentials in the YouTube, but still, even if people like were not ready to buy this Canva for just for 200, it's totally fine. I can understand you do one thing. You just ping me on LinkedIn. I'm going to give you the credentials. Just log in, do the work. I'm going to give you the OTP and make sure that you're logging off guys. Please don't forward it to anyone. There is no password to log in. The only thing what you have to do is you have to mention my Gmail ID. That's it. Got it. 
and when it comes to the resume guys before talking about resume i wanted to tell you something about the portfolio see aws is providing a free tier instance you can go ahead and select the free tier instance it's somewhere around the monthly you are going to get a 436 rupees or 500 less than 500 i'm very sure because i'm i deployed this portfolio on t2 micro itself only got it so try to create one portfolio the reason why i'm asking you to try to create portfolio is your resume looks good it will get a bit weightage when you add a portfolio and also you can add the portfolio link end of your email signature got it so i'm not forcing you again but it's it's completely your wish uh, we have also discussed a video on how to deploy the portfolio in the very first video of uh, aws series when i started the youtube channel right if i scroll down i'll take you to my resume first so this is my resume guys when it comes to the resume make sure that you are not adding more than two or three lines in your profile again my resume does has four lines here with this uh, like one two three four words extra so make sure that you're keeping this in very uh like you know short don't keep it big lines like i've seen some resumes they have mentioned seven eight nine ten because panel will be busy in their work and hr will be asking them to suddenly take the calls there are scheduled calls but there are unscheduled calls also in such way they do not have in such in such time they do not have time to read your entire resume so in such case what you can do is make sure that you are mentioning the good points in your project make sure that you are mentioning the clients make sure that you are which team which part of your team you are got it and mention all the details don't just mention like vpc ec2 load balancer no don't mention such points instead write a word if you don't know how to write a word if you don't know how to mention what to mention in the resume don't worry the only thing what you can do is go paste the copy the job description go and paste it in gpt and ask it to generate some job responsibilities got it and then don't paste it directly in your resume instead read each and every line do some modifications and paste it in your resume because tomorrow when you're facing the interview interviewer is going to ask you from your resume itself only so you should be confident of whatever you are mentioning in the resume right and when it comes to this links medium is very important again medium is not that big that big task is the only thing what you can do is create one medium account whatever video you're watching either it is mine or someone's just do a documentation and just post it on medium that's it medium is very simple the only thing you have to paste a screenshot and you have to write the matter of the screenshot likewise you can create a proper document it will be helpful to you during the time of your login hours also you can able to access this medium link with your uh, uh, client laptop also they will not block the medium hmm? right and the second thing is github github is again even if you're not writing any code it's totally fine you might be forking or you might be starting some repositories right so but still you can create one github account or you can do one more thing i do have many repositories in my uh, github you can go and uh, copy uh, the files uh, onto your uh, github repository and you can also create one github link not problem portfolio we have discussed this already docker hub don't worry people who doesn't have docker hub account when we are starting the docker in kubernetes i am going to create one docker hub and i am going to push all the images to the docker hub so make sure you are following whatever i am doing so it will be easy for you to create one docker hub account and you can also mention it in your resume and linkedin is common everyone do have linkedin and they are going to mention the links in the resume and when it comes to the youtube again i am not recommending two videos on youtube but if you do have time and if you are capable of putting the content then it's fine you can go ahead and uh, like you know start the youtube and keep the links right when it comes to the skills don't just mention individual services right mention aws or mention devops if you're good in like if you're very strong in some tools like docker terraform and all then you can mention and you can also add these points like one two three four five which means five star or four star got it so the only thing what i wanted to say is don't elaborate your resume more because the interviewer will not be having much time to read it at least two or three pages one page is hardly enough if you do keep the strong content in single page if you do have that capable if you are capable of keeping all the such content in one single page then it would be really appreciated but still if you wanted to create uh, like you know more than three pages then it's uh, slightly not a good sign so better try to keep it in one or two pages that's it
right so that's all i wanted to discuss about resume guys and the second thing and the last thing is what i wanted to discuss is guys this i i'm i'm saying this since the day one um make sure that you're doing the practicals please because i am not against any covc rules of which current organization is what i am working but i got the entire code from the gpt and then github repository some public repositories so i know the structure i know the particular structure of the service how to work with so that's what i implemented same on this uh, on my youtube channel and uh, all these videos got it so and this is the reason where i didn't kept any end to end project the main disadvantage of the end to end project is see your thinking capability will be limited i i mentioned the same long back on linkedin your thinking capability will be limited when you do individual project on individual service then you will know the functionality of the each and every services when your manager is giving any task then you can think the task in five different ways got it with single service we can use that in different different ways so that is the reason why don't just rely on end to end projects what will happen is that end to end project and that particular service will be used only to complete that end to end project and you will be thinking that okay i know this tool but no when you do the project individual project on a single service then you will be understanding it very clearly uh, about that particular service so first one to Eight nine videos. I'm sorry, that was a beginner's mistake. Uh, these videos were a bit slow, and after that we did many projects on ARB. We did projects on Active Directory, directory services, and then workspaces, right? Cost optimization. Uh, this auto scaling group is also a proper real time task where we have implemented SNS Route 53, and and we have also updated the DNS with Route 53, right? In the real time, we are going to do this. So. do practicals that's all i wanted to say and the second most thing is like people who are not aware of any containerization part people who are not aware of anything in kubernetes don't worry blindly follow my stuff uh, after like next week i'm going to start docker in kubernetes just blindly follow it guys the reason why i'm telling you is you can easily cover situational based interview questions and then you can easily handle whatever task you are getting once you get into the project because i am going to put some medium like easy level to hard level content right so try to understand even if you are not understanding in the first go try to watch it twice or thrice so for me if i watch any video i am not going to understand it in a single shot it will take 3 to 4 hours for me to understand so that's all i wanted to say and and there is nothing to discuss much again i am extremely thankful for whom ever has sent the positive feedback and positive comment uh, again i am saying you you with your motivation i am starting docker and kubernetes and one more thing i forgot to add i am doing this kubernetes stuff on six node multi node kubernetes cluster i am not going to do it on mini cube or rans or all kind i am going to do it on six node kubernetes cluster it's a proper real time activities and don't worry i'm not going to jump directly onto the deployments before deployments what i'm going to do is i'm going to explain about nodes and pods like when i started learning kubernetes i don't even know what were nodes and uh, pods like i i confused for these two uh, terminologies so we are going to discuss each and everything uh, we are going to go slowly so that everyone can be understanding um yeah my only request is to do the practicals that's it don't worry about the bill the bill is minimal itself only guys this the path will be like this only it's bit hard i know many people uh, having like getting the less salary uh, compared to the friends and all i can understand that totally even if you do the hard work the salary was not salary was still an underpaid but the process is like this if you skill up now at least for two or three months whatever i show you mark my words you're going to get very good salary guys trust me so they are going to pay some good amount so what you have to do you have to do some justice to the position you have to do the justice to the money which what you are taking correct so for that at least do more practicals so that once you get inside everything will be dead easy for you reason how i am doing this youtube videos is i can spend the time in office i can come back and do the videos because i know how to do it so that's how easy it could be if i spoke anything wrong uh, like you know mistakenly please don't take me in a wrong way and all the very best to everyone we'll see you in the next week we'll see you in the next week with the docker and kubernetes if you do have any doubts don't hesitate to ping me on linkedin if you do have any doubts please put in the comment section or if you wanted to join my telegram channel you can join there we are going to discuss all the stuff issue whatever you wanted to
right i'm going to pin the link in the description itself also thank you so much for watching guys we are going to see in the next week bye have a nice day